In this video, I'm going to be giving you five beginner marathon training tips. I'm a running coach based here in the UK, and if you implement these five things into your marathon training, well, they will be a game changer. What is up, everybody, and welcome to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification because we do a lot of stuff around marathon training here on this channel so make sure you subscribe okay so look i'm an athletics coach qualified athletics coach and running coach based here in the uk i teach loads of clients and uh, we write plans take them through to marathons and all this sort of stuff right so i'm qualified to give you some of this advice right just putting that out there at the front end and like i said i'm going to give you five i might give you six i might give you a cheeky little bonus one tips right if you are i don't know sign up for the london marathon in spring brighton manchester or something else somewhere around the world these five tips if you if you take something from them they will really, really help. So look, the first thing you need to do, people, and this is the first thing, is to set a realistic goal. I don't want you, if you're you know, doing your first marathon, to really be focused on time. I want you to think about just completing the damn thing. By setting unrealistic targets, unrealistic goals, all you're gonna do is put pressure on yourself, and you don't need that. You've got to run a marathon, right? So take all that away and set yourself some realistic goals. Okay, the second thing, and this is really important, that is to follow a structured plan. Now, I'm a running coach, like I said, here in the UK. You can uh, sort of hire me uh, to help you through that journey. We write personalized uh, training plans uh, at 40 Runs. We do a lot of those. And you can buy training plans on our website, yeah? But you need a structured training plan. You need something that's sort of, tailored-ish to you that you know will fit into your life because it's a big commitment but you do need that structure yeah structure and consistency is what will get you through those 26.2 miles okay tip three and this is to monitor your progress you really need to think about where you are and where you're going yeah now you can get our journal which you can get on amazon which is a great way uh, of writing down where you're going setting your targets and, and putting those personal thoughts down you can monitor that as you go through or even like getting strive or something like that so you're literally seeing your progress and monitoring your progress because it's really key to see where you're going and what you've achieved. Look at your pacing, look at your heart rate zones, look at your power, whatever you're doing, but look at it and monitor your progress as you go through, because it will really help and it goes back to that structure and that consistency. You're putting that all together. And again, that will help you as part of your training. Tip four, very important people, listen to your body. Your body's gonna take a beating through this marathon training and you really need to listen to it. If you're getting aches and pains, things like that, make sure you listen to your body, okay? It's really, really important. You know, it's obvious, make sure you're getting the right food, hydration, that kind of thing. So just look after yourself, people through marathon training. Tip number five, cross training. Yes, cross training. Do not neglect cross training. Strength, condition. You need to be doing some people, right? Even if you go on 40runs.com or, or um, the YouTube channel and you do our hit session, it's a free 20 minute hit session, do that once a week. At least you're doing something. You need to strengthen, okay? You need to condition. Make sure you do it. And that extra bonus tip, that sixth tip, is to recover and stretch. You really need to you really need to dial in the recovery. And I'm talking sleep, I'm talking stretching, I'm talking, you know, looking after yourself, making sure you are resting on rest days, that kind of thing. It's really, really important to do. Because ultimately you need to be able to to be able to stay in good condition to keep doing the runs, to keep doing the mileage. And you know, when you get into week 10 and you're doing big mileage, you need to make sure your body's uh, as rested and recovered as possible. So look, there's six easy to follow tips, yeah. The biggest thing I take away from this really for you is to get the, the structure and the consistency. You do that, plus the recovery and the strength of that, you put it all together. You are gonna to be a much better runner through this marathon training. You're gonna survive this marathon training. You're gonna be in the best possible shape for the race day, all right? Don't forget to enjoy it. People, you are meant to enjoy it, but it's a ride. It's, it's, it's a, tough, a tough thing to train for these marathons. I know you see all these YouTubers and the influencers doing it all the time, but it's bloody hard to run a marathon. So look, that's my sort of five or six tips. Like I said, if you want a personalized plan, hit us up, get over to 40 runscom If you want the journal, it's on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. You knock yourself out. But these are five or six things that I think, as I said at the front end, if you do follow them, they will really, really help. <laughs> 